everyone all right then so now i just had to actually check something here i tried to unlock this door see if it actually mark it it didn't so that's a bloody shame oh that's for that with the um jukebox okay let's just Time to work. Lead me in domain denounce. sure Ah, oh, okay. So we can go through all these. Interesting. Like I said before, Excuse me. the janitor is a friendly face. So far, we know anyway. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? You know what? I mentioned this last time or the time before, but I get the feeling either Artie is actually a member of the board. This is like a hypothesis, hypothesis of mine or theory. Either that or I think Artie might be the eyes and ears of the board inside the building. Um, I, I, I don't think Artie was responsible for getting us into the building, I don't think, but I think, like, I think the actual, you know, I think Artie can maybe manipulate or maybe make judge. Like, the oldest house has a respect for Artie, and I think vice versa, right? So, which would make sense. Now, if, so, you know, the eldest house is like, you know what, it's either Artie knew about this whole director thing, or it's like, knew this person was important, had to let them in, but it's like, Artie was sort of that person who was like could test them you know ask them questions and see you know make a judgment call and it's like the oldest house like listen to Artie it's like you know what Artie if you think that Jesse is okay and trustworthy enough tell us what you think your impressions in your own way and um if, if she passes your test to your satisfaction we'll let her access the elevator if not we'll never reveal the elevator I wonder if that's what's going on I wonder I mean, I could be completely wrong, but it wouldn't be the way, it wouldn't be such a far-fetched theory if I'm honest. Can I? By any chance. I can actually break it. Okay, well, I'll take that. Why is this even here in the first place? Like, that's utterly pointless. Whatever. Book. Oh, Lopez is. Huh? Unless, unless you review by. Oh, Captain Lopez. Okay, gotcha. Um, these days, most UA novels. I've forgotten that that's meant to be an author. I'm assuming it is. Um, UA novels uh, intertwine the coming of age story with either a contrived dystopian setting or a tragic romance, unless you manage to do both. In this story, the protagonist and her love interest sit, uh, search for a cure called a vi to a virus called The Fix, which is simultaneously killing her and spreading across the whole world. To find the cure, they go on expeditions into dangerous uncharted territories The people all live in walled cities now because of the dystopian future. And along the way, they just, uh, they just have to fall in love. God, this could not be more opposite to what the other uh, review was about uh, space and all that, at least so far. I liked how we never got to know if the fix was actually ever fixed. The ending of the ending was bold, especially for for YA, assuming the author, uh, for the type of 
uh, novels, obviously. The main character succumbs to the fix when she's uh, so close to the cure and commands her love interest to go on and save the world. She knows this is the end f for her, but that the job can still get done. She dies out in the unknown, alone, surrounded by danger, but never loses sight of the goal. That's a good soldier's death. I give this book 3 out of 5. I feel most of the teenage um, angst is a little lost on me. But I'd recommend it to my brother's kids. Okay. <laughs> right. Alright. Okay, so this is a test. This is an internal test. So, like, here's a book. Maybe, there, maybe a fake version of an object of power. It's like, here, get your book and... You know, it's maybe it's a smaller version or whatever, like a copy of an object of power. It's like, here, what's your review of this? And depending on it succumbs to the imagination or creativity of the person. It's like, here, depending on how you feel, your background, all this type of thing, this book will read differently for you. I wonder if that's the case here. It wouldn't surprise me, honestly, at this point. That's a control room, okay. The directorial override is right there, in the control room. How do we get there? How do we switch weapons? Uh, leg like, legitly, how do we switch weapons? Um, oh, okay, right. I'm used to it being a completely different button. What? What? What the hell? But that's how you switch. You see switch weapon. What? What the hell? But I've... Oh, I'm so confused, right? You're bloody kidding me. Oh, I wasn't selected. Oh my god, I'm being such a dimwit. Oh, wow. Okay, that would actually make... S oh. <laughs> I like that spit on it. Yeah, it's basically it's basically a shotgun. Okay, that's actually really cool. Wow, that's actually genuinely really cool. And uh, maybe the spin is perhaps some sort of machine. No asshole. Let's go, asshole. There we go, that's one way to solve that. Piss off! Okay. Launch efficiency. Ooh. Okay, that... Is that better? Oh, it's only 9%. Uh. <clears throat> Let's actually deconstruct that. All these are same. Let's just get rid of this. This one. Health recovery. Oh, that's 20. That's 21. Let's get rid of the 20. St I mean, sure, I don't need to get rid of the space yet, but it just feels like, you know, let's just... Yeah. Get some extra resources while we're at it, so what the hell. 
Ritual impulse. Hmm. Okay. Let's cleanse it. Okay. Ah, there's a door here. Okay. Okay. Where are they? Try to get some headshots. Oh, there you are. I can hear it. I can't see it. Or was that it? Nice. Huh. I'm assuming we need something to actually get in there at some point. Cool. Okay, okay. First things first. Search it. Show you guys everything. Oh, nice. <clears throat> Level four. Okay. Not going there anytime soon. Okay. Oh, this. Oh, this must be the little side thing. Okay. Nice ritual impulse. Cool. All right then. What the hell? Okay. A merry chase. I'd love to if I can actually get that when it actually goes red. See if I can do it in time. Damn it. Oh, actually that'll work quite well.
<laughs> Let's grab, uh, of course. Oops. Okay. What the hell? Um, do we need the cr you know what? Let's just do this side mission. What the hell? What the hell? Oh god! What the hell? Cleanse the America around horse of power. Okay. Sure. Oh wow, total things in total flux. Ugh. This place makes me nauseous. An object of power. How do you think it got down here? At this point, this place, anything's possible, of frankly. Of course. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? You can blame a bunch of other movies for that, including things like uh, Chucky, Goosebumps. I mean, to some degree, technically, X Files. Um, well, depends. Well, kids would be allowed to watch that, but you know, you, there's a lot of kids things in the animations of back in the day. Trying to think, what would you think? I know there were no merry-go-rounds for things like courage, curse of cowardly dog. I'm trying to think, you couldn't put you couldn't put rugrats. Um, I'm trying to think of things that had that sort of this sort of theme to it. I must have been none of that actually jumping to mind just at this exact moment. I must admit, but um, yeah. I suppose there are way creepier things that children could ride on that um, would be hot objects of power. So this is, I think, tame by comparison. What are those things? I think if we're back to a newer kid, use your imagination. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, in the vein. Oh, okay. Give me a second. Right. <clears throat> the horse choo choo allows you to evade dash used to prove us to prove yourself escape. Oh yeah, okay. Ah, oh, I gotta get the timing down. Oh yeah, okay, 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 I see what's going on here. Oh yeah, alright. Alright, immune! Oh, terrific! Oh, it's a dodging course! Great! Success and level you have been approved for use of the horse bound for life. Oh, so uh, the evade is connected to an object of power? Okay. We're bound to that. Okay, cool. Let's keep up with me now. Huh. So if you'd never gone that straight away, you wouldn't have got the merry go round. So, oh, we were bound to that, the board said. Interesting. Okay. Uh. Plus 20, not so far. Uh, what was the other one? That's 21, yeah, I don't care too much. 
Excuse me. Uh, threshold. Is it just me? If you turn your head sideways, right, this last one, threshold. Is it just me or does that look like one of the symbols on the door in the ocean view? I mean, the part, maybe the part in the middle has to be turned, you know, well, from out, you know, if you turn your head, it has to be turned horizontal, if you know what I mean. Or is it that symbol? I mean, is that, am I just reading too much into it or is, wait a second. Hold the phone. Wait. Oh my. Hold. Are these representations of resources? That that came out. Sorry, that was Kate. That didn't. That came out. Didn't. You won't understand what I mean. It sounded way over my head. Don't worry. <laughs> Obviously, what I mean is. If you can recall back to the symbols on the doors, right, that we saw. What if they correlate? I mean, okay, not everyone's an exact match. I get it. But two of them I can see being a near enough for a match. So, what if those doors lead to production facilities or storage or, like, creation facilities for these materials or... Um, or, I don't know, or, yeah, or the origin of these materials, let's put it that way. So, what if those doors lead to those materials? Huh, because this material looks strangely enough like one of those. I mean, okay, it has to be switched around a little bit. Okay, sure, but... You know, I'm just trying to put pieces together here. And that one in the middle, I mean, if you sort of, if you took those circles and just do them a single rectang rectangles inside, rectangles inside, rectangles instead of a puzzle, you would have another symbol on the door. Um, one of them was a swirl. Um, mm, that's not represented very well. What was the other one? There was another one. There's a few of them. I can't remember to be perfectly honest, but um, excuse me. I mean, I, look, don't spoil it. I'd rather find out on my own, but I'm just that's just some creative thinking on my part. I think I'm trying to. Ah, uh, good. There's a uh, oh yes, uh, soldiers right. Effective sector with headshots. Okay. It's executive sector. Is that the one where we have all those that room with all those soldiers in? I wonder. What's coming, mod? Okay. Look around, horse. Object should be kept in a confined space when unbound. A fiberglass horse, once used as a seat of our America round ride, the pole is still connected to the object. The object is capable of moving short distances at higher speeds. This can be quite dangerous when redacted its path. The object is currently bound by redacted. Uh, background. The object was discovered at the site of an abandoned amusement park. Local redacted reported that the, uh, that the rides would move on their own and that they would be chased and that they would be chased out. When these rumors reached the bureau see of uh, America Overnight episode 235, agents were dispatched to investigate. Three local redacted were found dead at the scene. The object attacked agent redacted by redacted Agents invoked formula uh, C.5 to redacted the object long enough to redact it. Terrific amount of information there. Really informative. Not. <laughs> uh, am I supposed to make that? Just. Oh yeah, go into the abyss. Fair enough. Hmm. That's really cool though, actually. 30 point received, nice. Cool. Why is this... 
Oh, I see. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so... Oh, that's completely... Have to ah, well, right. I was wondering why that was still flashing there. Like, what the hell? Right, that would make a lot of sense. Oh, and I can only do those... Add those control points as well. Okay, right. Shatter recoil efficiency. Huh. Okay, project recall only eight percent. Oh, that's nothing. Absolutely, rather had rate of fire. Oh, pff, that's not what I meant to. <laughs> oh, I did not mean to do that at all. Oh God. Oh God, we have this creepy one again. Oh God, fine. <laughs> Right. Interesting for a dial tone to be used. Okay. What's a pyramid? <laughs> a black pyramid. It's an astral plane. Airplane? No, astral. Astral plane. <laughs> it's big, white, and empty. Or is it? Hmm. It's a weird, crazy alien dimension. The white goes on forever. You can get lost in all that white and I believe it. find your way back home. I miss my home. I don't know what the hell was near the dial tone, but whatever. If it's supposed to add to the creepiness, it worked. At least for me, anyway. I don't know about you lot, but... Okay... Seriously? One of those things that's... Oh, it's one of those things, those doors say... Oh yeah, this is exactly where you'll meet this person. <laughs> I mean, it's clever, but, you know, like, at the same time, it's like, really? Gonna use that format? Well, it's Dr. Artie. Of course, he's just standing there waiting for us. Hey, Artie! How you been? Well done. You got the job. Hm. It's place for congratulations. Cheers. Yippee, Satana. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. <laughs> Funny thing is... I've been a janitor. Really? I'm more at home in that role than as the director. <laughs> Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted. Otherwise, I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working very small couple of hours job of course something tells me it's gonna be more <laughs> no kidding <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. you think there's a dog buried in this i can tell you are not the yesterday's grouse's son that's why you're okay. made a great assistant very well i'll hit the facts on the table cool this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. 
they've all run messed up the cooling pumps. And the uh, power generators of a power plant, Berkele. And the pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. Trying my best to keep up with this. I'm somewhat. It's the coolant pumps yep. and the power generators. Otherwise, the power plant will blow. Basically. Well, don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. I'll need to be quite clear. I can assure you. That's the end of the trip before I go to my vacation. Ah, of course you go on your vacation. It works on the task board here. You can do later when you have time. Okay. Vacation. No. <laughs> right. Yes. No one's gonna cancel my holiday or seeds gonna rattle. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis is gonna be last winter snow. You better go now so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. <laughs> the door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. I almost be clearance level two, I'm assuming. The rectorial override. I'm assuming it just got. Let me just check something real quick. Oh, that bloody stupid thing. Um. Uh, yes, level two. Okay, cool. Now, I know there's a few places I need to use that, but I'm never going to remember them all, to be honest. I'm just not. I want to say he's Turkish. I. For some. You're happy to. Go it, 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 um, let me know in the comments, honestly, but only say, like, if it is, like, don't expand, just like, oh, you know, he comes from blah, 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 but, like, is that a Turkish accent? You know, because I, I, I don't know Turkish, per se, but the words have, to me, they have that very, well, actually, no, nah, I wouldn't say Egyptian, but I'd say maybe Turkish feel, perhaps Persian. But just the way the words were structured, like the letter spelling, I want to lean towards Turkish. I don't know, it just... Yeah, I get a Turkish vibe from it. So, if, if I'm correct, please let me know. I mean, not really going to tell me anything. I mean, it's just a mysterious person, serious, mysterious Turkish guy who happens to be a really um creative janitor very important D doesn't really tell me anything does it no <laughs> but yeah just yeah actually i'm curious i love he's just saying they're like just so expect expecting us like it's like, oh god, yeah, can you just hurry up and get on? <laughs> I'm like, okay, dude, I'm gonna it off, alright? <laughs> oh dear. You wish that kind of sounds, that uh, seems somewhat miserable, if I'm honest. What a mess, burn yeah. the trash. Burn the trash. Throw it in the fire. No kidding. Burn it all. Burn it into a reindeer, not into a moose. You think what you like, pal. Let me just do something real quick. The second the Okay. Alright. Remnant cool. Nothing else. Okay. That's probably how we come back. Fair enough. Oh, it's for a 
Still Liddy on the Turkish side of things, personally. Nice. Oh, dodge efficiency. Okay. Nice. Okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Power. Explosion. Too much. Director's duty. Keep the lights on. Right. Northmore. <laughs> Northmore was director before me. Ah, there you go. His job. Ah. I never wanted power. I purposefully avoided it. Didn't trust it. Didn't want to rely on it. Okay. Northmore was all about power. Ah. Man, like an explosion, hungry for authority, for order, for more. Until it was too much. I had to find a solution in the end. Contain the situation. Northmore never liked me, but he went along with it, to his credit. He didn't really have a choice. Really? I suppose at the end of the day, a director's most basic duty is to keep the lights on. Oh. More. There were no prime candidates waiting in the wings, but I was there. Had been the whole time, keeping my head down, working my ass off. I had nothing to lose. I picked up the gun almost on a dare. Ah. Okay. Interesting. So does that mean the board... So, okay, so let's assume Northmore got too obsessed with power. The board's like, no, 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 no. You're not listening to us. We need to dispose of you. Um, it's like they talk to, it's like somehow Trench finds out, it's like, you know what? Trench is worth his ass off, he's committed, he's trustworthy to us, we can rely on him, you know, he knows how exactly this bureau works, let's show him what really goes on, you know, just give him the opportunity, let's see what he does with the gun, can he be trust trusted with it? Maybe Trench killed Northmore? Who knows? Maybe the board disposed of Northmore left um, Trench the option of, with the guns. Like, do you want to try it? Do you want to risk it? Do you want to take that leap? He's like, no, I've got nothing to lose. What the hell? Became director. So whether he killed Northmore with the service weapon or whether the board disposed of Northmore and gave him the option that for the weapon, I mean, who knows? But yeah. Interesting. Okay. I mean, at least he's one of those guys never wanted the job. It's like, you know, I've worked my ass off for ages, had nothing to lose. Let's just give it a whirl. He obviously did some decent, pretty good stuff, apparently. <clears throat> okay, anyway, we're in this one here, and yeah, we'll uh, keep going and head, try and uh, see if we can fix this reactor or get it started and, and all this crap. I still get these um, directorial override as well at some point. So yeah, catch you next time.